Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about what the relative maximum and minimum of a function are. Before I begin, I just want to clarify that these terms may also be called local maximum and local minimum. The relative maxima and minima are points at which our function begins to exhibit different behaviors. Let's give some proper definitions to both these terms though to ensure that we really understand. The relative maxima of a given function is the largest output for any function over a given interval of inputs. I like to think about this as the top of the hills of our functions. So it is simply the highest point on our graph over our area of interest. That is the region of the graph that we care about. What about the relative minima? Well, as one may expect, it is the opposite of the relative maxima. The relative minima of a given function is the smallest output for any given input over a given interval of inputs. These can be thought of as valleys of our function. So the relative minima is the lowest possible point on our graph over our area of interest. One thing I think students get confused on about these terms is that they think there can only be a single local maxima or minima value. That is not true. At any point you've reached the top of one of our hills or the bottom of a valley, then you have a local maxima or minima. Many students confuse this with the absolute maxima or minima, which can also be called the global maxima or minima which are the highest and lowest outputs over the whole domain of the function. Let's practice on the following two graphs. Let's begin here at graph number one. Take a second and try to identify the points at which our function has a relative maxima and minima. And what is the value of the local maxima and minima at those points? Well, let's begin by identifying our relative maxima. Therefore, we should look for the largest output over our given area of interest. This can also be the highest point on our graph at which our function is transitioning from an increasing function to a decreasing function. Therefore, as you can see here, the highest point is when y equals 4 at an output of 2. Let's find where our local minima occurs for this function and the value of the local minima. Opposite to the local maxima, the relative minima will occur at the lowest point on our graph, where we transition from a decreasing function to an increasing function. Therefore, we can see that this occurs at minus one with a local minima of minus two. Therefore, we can state that this function has a local maxima of four at an input of two and a local minima of minus one at an input of minus two. Let's move on to our second graph in function. We can immediately notice that there are much more hills and valleys in this function compared to the previous function. However, the way we go about solving it is the exact same. Any points at which we have a hill we have a local maxima, and any points at which we have a valley, we have a local minima. And the highest hill is our absolute or global maxima, and our lowest valley is our absolute or global minimum. I hope this graph makes it more clear to you about local maxima and local minima. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope it helped your understanding of the relative maxima and the relative minima of functions. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.